So in Photoshop, there are a number of things that can be enabled or improved by enabling the use of a GPU processor. These include on canvas brush resizing, flick panning, scrubby zoom, the adaptive wide angle filter, the HUD color picker and rich cursor info, canvas rotation, the eyedropper sampling ring, lighting effects, and pretty much all of the 3D menu, which are enabled, and a large number of features that are enhanced, including blur gallery and overall painting performance. Having said that, you can use Photoshop without GPU processing enabled, but it can, shall we say, be a much less smooth experience. So the idea behind this video is that one of my viewers mentioned in a comment that they were able to use the GPU enabled features despite not having a discrete graphics card. So we had a brief chat and it turned out they were using a machine with an entry level AMD APU. Uh, it therefore seemed a good idea to test this with a more powerful AMD processor. Uh, so when the new Ryzen 5 5600G came out, I decided to give Photoshop a test run on it to see the results. So the aim of the video is number one to assess the performance of the Ryzen 5 5600G APU. Number two, to assess its suitability for Photoshop. Number three, to make recommendations for a PC build for Photoshop based on the uh, Ryzen 5 5600G. Number four, to also examine the potential for downgrading from a high-end discrete GPU to the integrated graphics on the 5600G. In testing, uh, and I think we discussed this previously in, in a different video, the 5600G outperforms the Ryzen 5 3600, which came out a couple of years ago, in both multi-core and single thread performance. This alone makes it a recommend for an upgrade. Furthermore, in Photoshop, it was possible to activate all those features mentioned previously that are associated with a GPU processor. Therefore, the integrated graphics are overall very, very good in Photoshop. It should be clear now that the 5600G is a very strong recommendation for a Photoshop PC build. But I'm going to give some further recommendations for a PC build for Photoshop based on the Ryzen 5 5600G uh, for those guys that are considering building their own PCs. First recommendation, number one, dual channel RAM. Uh, as discussed in a previous video, is a top priority for, the, for this processor. Number two, it's a quality of life issue, but get a decent air or liquid cooler. The stock cooler that AMD includes in the package, the Wraith Stealth Cooler is pretty good, but with both the CPU and GPU being cooled by the same fan, you really want to have something a bit nastier. And I'm recommending the $40 Be Quiet Pure Rock for its 26 decibel noise ceiling as well as its pretty cool all black appearance. Number three, both the CPU and GPU on the 5600G can be overclocked. If you're looking to get a really good overclock, you might achieve this with an even nastier cooler, something like the Dark Rock Pro 4. I'll link to a couple of recommendations in the description. These will be great for cooling and also for noise performance. Number four, the total amount of RAM has a big impact on performance. I would recommend 16 gigabytes of RAM for a mid-range Photoshop PC build, 32 gigabytes for a high-end PC build. More on this in the final section. Finally, let's take a look at the potential for downgrading from a high-end graphics system. With current very high graphics card demand and correspondingly high prices, it may make sense to downgrade your system to one with integrated graphics, perhaps even selling your existing graphics card to someone who needs it even more. How would that work in reality? I tested this with an existing system build that had an 
NVIDIA RTX 3070 and a stable installation of Photoshop and Windows, downgrading this to just the integrated graphics on the Ryzen 5 5600G. Let's take a look at the results. Photoshop worked well with 32 gigabytes of RAM. Day-to-day -day performance was largely unaffected. Reducing memory to 16 gigabytes produced some performance problems with Photoshop. Now this was completely unexpected. A little bit more about that later on. But Windows itself was, was stable at 16 gigabytes. Reducing memory to 8 gigabytes rendered Photoshop unusable and Windows was unstable. So what was happening here? Well, there's a theory here. The, the system had been working with 32 gigabytes of RAM plus 8 gigabytes of dedicated VRAM in the RTX 3070, a total of 40 gigabytes of RAM. So for many months, this was the operating normal. But remember, when using integrated graphics, Windows allocates some system RAM to the GPU. So when the RTX 3070 was taken out, we immediately lost 8 gigabytes of dedicated VRAM and Windows took some of the remaining system RAM and dedicated that to the 7 Ryzen 5600G graphics cores. Well, at 32 gigabytes of system RAM, Windows reserved 4 gigabytes of that to the, to the GPU. Now that 4 gigabytes is going to be pretty sufficient for Photoshop. At 16 gigabytes, Windows reserved 2 gigabytes to the GPU. That's the amount that Adobe recommends as a minimum for standalone GPUs. And at 8 gigabytes, Windows was, was reserving 512 megabytes to the GPU, much less than the uh, amount Adobe recommends. And four times smaller than the amount at 16 gigabytes. Now, the problems experienced at 16 gigabytes were actually pretty difficult to explain, particularly because they were completely unexpected. And at present, I have no real explanation of why Photoshop sometimes ran out of RAM at 16 gigabytes. But at least it did open, which it refused to do at 8 gigabytes of RAM. In fact, at 8 gigabytes, Photoshop refused to open, and that was with every single version of Photoshop that I tried. So, drawing a conclusion, the amount of system RAM is a factor in performance during a downgrade. I recommend definitely do not reduce system RAM when downgrading your graphics. But consider increasing system RAM, especially if you're operating at 16 gigabytes or less. Now, the actual downgrade for the graphics went pretty well as long as there was sufficient system RAM. I think it needs to be stressed, however, that the Ryzen 5 5600G is very good, but it will not match something like an RTX 3070 in some areas of performance in Photoshop. But for most operations, I would suggest you won't notice much difference. Guys, that has been the first thorough product review on this channel. If you liked it, give a thumbs up to validate the approach. I look forward to validating you in the next video. Uh, guys, I'm going to see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.